Hi, Kanen. Yeah, my name is Kanen. I'm from uh, Futurum Corporate Finance Advisory. You can visit my website at uh, www.futurumcoffinan.com. You can send email to futurumcoffinan at gmail.com. Okay, I'm going to make a video about uh, solving a circular reference uh, during construction period under project finance model. Okay, circular reference is uh, is uh, happens because um, we applied the interest rate against the average balance of uh, beginning plus ending. Uh, the issue is uh, the ending balance includes the interest calculated, the interest amount calculated above. Okay. Um, um, I think that's the main issue. Um, I think I just jump to the example to help you understand what I mean with this. Okay. Just save it first. Okay. Um, get put, uh, uh, blue and then this is assumption. Okay. Just put white ball. Okay, static uh, project uh, start date. Um, this is project start date. Yes, and then for example, end of this year. And you have your, what else? Initial uh, debt balance. This is a funding scheme. You can put like a USD 100,000. I think, I don't know, 100,000 for example. You can put it wherever you want, and then the interest rate, the annual interest rate, this is constant, uh, for example, 10% or 12%. And what else is uh, construction years? Uh, for example, five years, and then you can put like a month in one year, twelve months. Okay, and then you have a commercial project, commercial date. So it's uh, you can use a EO month, start date, comma months of so five years time twelve. Or you can use uh, E-Day, whatever you want to use. It's both working, five years times uh, 12 months. Okay, I put that uh, date, so you can see it's exactly the same. So either you can use EO month or E-Day. Okay, uh, I think I need to prepare savers. Uh, the timeline, the project timeline. Okay, you can put like a different color if you want red. Uh, put it a bit bigger, like a twelve. You can put also this twelve because it's critical. And then this is like a, you can put like a, this is a begin. This is a end. Okay. So I put like a N, this is the start, uh, you can put a different color and then you just build that plus one and then this is EO month I guess, this is start and then your month is 12 months, so your F4 and no it's not, yeah, yeah I think I have to minus one. Yes, it's good. 
Right then, uh, I go to the right. I don't know. Uh, yes, 2025. I think that should be fine. And then, um, just if you want a bit that you can put like a italics for the date. Okay. And then you can indicate whether this is a commercial or not. So it's a pre commercial. So uh, I just put like uh, if this, okay, I have to put the date here, I guess. Yeah, then just if this below, oh, the same with this. F4, don't forget, then you can put the cap pre commercial, otherwise, you can put like a commercial com. Okay, whatever you want to use, is as long as people understand that. So you have pre and then you just format condition with uh, equal it is this uh, pre com then you just put red okay and then if that's a com you want to use a different color I don't know green probably because it's start generating money all right so you I think that's um, yes we already have the timeline so now we have to move to uh, okay so it's um, i'll put the depth balance movement okay you can put like a yellow red bullet if you want so you have a beginning balance here plus uh, interest What's that interest uh, during construction? We can ID interest during construction, and then uh, can put like uh, ending balance. Okay, I'm not too sure what I'm doing. I'm try to to do that. So the beginning balance is your ending balance. Don't forget, always start from the beginning balance. There's a 100 here. You just link it here. And then your beginning is your ending. Hopefully it makes sense to you. So we have not had this. Uh, we just leave it blank. And then your ending is your beginning plus your ending. But is um, I don't know. Okay, so we just copy this first. I'm going to solve that later. Oh, I'm doing this. Okay, leave it there. Don't worry too much. Uh, Okay, and then what else is um, I have a debt balance and then oh yeah the interest on debt. Okay, I will have uh, uh, three ways to calculate. Is that three ways to calculate? Three method, three ways. Yeah, I think there's a three ways. Okay, I just copy this format to here. So I have uh, three ways to calculate. Just put the uh, blue if you want. It's not its color. Okay, just put it. Okay, first method. Okay, uh, using a uh, pick. Uh, no, no, no. I think I will use uh, two ways. Just show you two ways. Okay, first is. 
interest times uh, average balance. Okay, so this is the first method. I put a blue bullet and can put like a white. Okay, so it's interest times average balance. So this is the first method. I think it's a red probe is a probe is. Oh, okay, hopefully it's fine with you. Okay. I don't know, just don't like this thing put the bit yellow. Okay, so the first uh, interest and so I need um, interest uh, rate. Okay, you just copy from above. And then you just uh, link it here, put F4, then you just copy it to the right. Okay, um, I think we, um, I need to close the, I need to stop this video, we're going to move to the second video, I'm a bit afraid that this is to be too long to watch.